Hello. Long have you been there? Hey everybody, Rocktopus Prime here, back in front of the camera for a video review. I've tried to do a couple of these and they just haven't felt right. So, going in, no script at all, just behind the camera, or in front of the camera I should say, uh, like days of old, like how I started. This guy is MP01B, or the black version of, there's that hand thing again, uh, <laughs> the black version of MP01. Now, this guy... It's not confirmed that he's Nemesis Prime, but he's totally Nemesis Prime, rocking the black and red, blood red chest visor, which actually on mine doesn't stay tabbed in too good. The the teal also on his crotch place is really cool, and these little arrows are very Nemesis Prime, very Nemesis Prime. And although he has an Autobot logo, I sort of like to feel, uh, I sort of like to think that he's like in disguise, like incognito. So very cool, very heavy, like his legs are die cast. Some of his torsos die cast. He's very dusty because uh, I need to figure out a way to dust my figures. He comes with this version of Prime's gun. It's black and teal, or er, gray and teal. Very nice, very nice. Too bad to have the screw on it. Nice bit amount of detail there. A blood red axe. It doesn't look as blood red on camera. It's coming off a bit more orange. But this is MP uh, 10's axe. Look at the the the. the of the two MP01 molds that I have, MP01, the 20th anniversary, the battle damage to Prime, and this one, of the two, this is definitely my favorite, but he's black and red. Instant win there. One last accessory he is rocking. If you open up his chest, flip up this chrome section here, we'll see a little dead matrix, I think they're calling it. If you push this button on his chest, you will get the light up feature. It's very nice. Love that light up feature. I love the light up matrix. Articulation on the sky. The head will rotate. Ooh, hit the button. It will rotate. The ears are articulated so you can get some nice poses out of them on a single joint. So when one moves, they both move. Or if you really wanted to, you could kind of hold it and wiggle it. Something like that. Head rotates, goes up and down. If you push this little button on the back of his head right there, you can get some I am Nemesis Prime things coming out of his faceplate there, which is really cool. I love the metallic red eyes. So very cool. Uh, articulation next, the shoulders. Basically like MP10, uh, they do have pull-out joint, although they don't sit as nicely up into the cab as I'd like, but they, if they're pulled out, they will sort of tent up and down like that. And I love the piston detailing here when you go to rotate his arms, when you bend his arms. That just Oh, pistons. The arms do rotate like that. And his fists do rotate. Let's see if I can do this. They swivel and they rotate. And they also have pistons. The fingers are all on uh, this sort of C grip. Uh, but they are individually articulated. Let me see if I can get the thumb out of the way to show you. So you can have them like that. You can have them sort of, I don't know, kind of like that if you wanted them to. The waist swivel is nice too. These uh, hip skirt pieces do fold out of the way for his leg movement forward. Uh, it's detented, but it's hard to get him to hold the pose because of the die cast in his shins. And they do go out that far. They are a little bit better uh, holding out that way just because of the way that the joint is designed. And back is the same way, it's kind of. He does, however, have Double jointed knees and more piston detailing! Because he was sort of the bridge between ooh, bridge between Masterpiece and Alternators. For those of us that remember Alternators. There is a thigh swivel. Nothing at the die cast bit, but probably for the best. More pistons that move up and down as you move the foot up and down. And a little toe articulation there. Rubber tires. Very nice. Unfortunately, getting him to hold the gun is a little bit of a problem. It wasn't until I just started posing with this guy is how much it was thrown into my mind to how much we're spoiled by the locking tabs of the new Masterpiece line. And he just kind of, it just kind of rests there. It's not really all in that, all securely. Now, as mentioned, he does come with his blood red axe, which is really cool. In order to get the axe into his arm, all you want to do is you want to take his hand and fold it into a fist take his thumb and fold it down alongside like this. 
come around to the underside, there's a little tab there that you just want to open up, slide the fist in, fold it in, and there you go. You have Prime with, or Nemesis Prime, excuse me, with his Energon Axe. And it does look kind of, uh, it does look kind of small when you compare it to the rest of him. It's one of those features that is like, the one other accessory he does come with, I don't know if you can call it a, an accessory, like an action feature, but he does have little panels in his arms that if you've got fingernails, you can lift up, and there on this one, you see it's got Rodimus Prime, and on this side, you have Optimus. This is a completely separate character. Proof's in the communicator. <gasps> Transformation! This is amazing! I'd actually forgotten how cool it was in vehicle mode. This is like some Terminator 2 truck right here. This is like... So check out the details on this guy. The nice teal lights up here, which I'm not really sure what they do. The nice blood red windshield makes an appearance in the full grill, hiding the real grill underneath. See what you did there. The red lights are awesome. Just the black and the silver really go well. And the Autobot logo just stands out so much better there, camera. Work with me. Thank you. It just, it just pops. It's like, oof. Rubber tires, obviously. There's actually, like, working suspension. What? The front tires don't really have a whole lot of it. It is there. This is one of those toys that I fall in love with over and over and over and over again. It is a bit pricey. I got mine at my first TFCon. I think I got them for $150 or $200, I'm not sure. For as much die cast that, that's in this guy, and for as old as he is, and for the condition that he was in, it was a steal. If you can get MP01B in any sort of way, I totally recommend it. There's something crawling on my leg. I think he is fantastic. The chrome is awesome. The colors are awesome. And he's an evil prime. I mean, come on. So anyway, if you made it this far into the video, give me a big thumbs up in the comment section. Sexy in your sexy down below. You'll see you next time. Bye! So if you made it this far into the video, guys, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below. <laughs> this is uh, this has been Optimus Prime. Hope you guys have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. Take care, guys.